Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial video, I will teach you step by step how to earn money with the pay to work application as a complete beginner in 2024. Rest assured, you absolutely don't need any advanced skills and anything to pull this off, guys, because the earning methods and techniques and tasks they feature here on paid work are super intuitive, simple and beginner friendly, well at least most of them, but we'll get to the technicalities and detail just in a moment, so bear with me, and with that in mind, let us get started right away. Alright, so we're welcomed by a pretty generic claim on their homepage, make money online, and further below they describe their app as following, on the phone, computer or tablet, get paid wherever you are without investment. Which is a good feature to begin with, I'd say, yes it is true, signing up on paid work is entirely free guys. There are no sign up fees and no hidden costs to fear, like monthly membership fees for example or something like that. Users can sign up from anywhere in the world and use the paid work app to earn money in their spare time through earning methods such as playing enjoyable mobile games for example, filling out surveys, shopping online, doing offers and microtasks, and even watching videos, as well as mining crypto, they added that feature just recently, and scanning recepts, and we're going to talk about each feature in detail just in a second guys, and discuss the earning potential of each method, so that you can decide for yourselves which one of them you find the most lucrative and interesting. So for the basics, getting started on paid work is super easy. All you need, as said earlier, is a device like your desktop computer, a smartphone or a tablet, and you're good to go. You can download the application free of charge from Google Play or from the App Store. And what I'd like to show you too before we proceed with the aforementioned earning methods is the user satisfaction score. The paid work application has received so far on Trustpilot, for example, namely a score of 4.5 out of 5 possible stars with almost 75% of users having given the highest score possible, which can be without any doubt considered a pretty decent result for a GPT or a GetPay2 app. I mean, these apps usually don't receive the best feedback on Google and Trustpilot by users, mainly because people fear to be scammed and it is true that on the internet there are a lot of scammers running all kinds of shady offers, apps and websites trying to trick innocent and honest people like us. But as you can see, most users seem to be very content with this app services and features. Also they have replied to almost all negative comments and feedback here in Trustpilot, which is something I personally believe builds trust and reliability and I do appreciate that. Okay, so to get started head back to their homepage or download and install the paid work app on your device. If you like and next click on registration here in the top right corner that will redirect you to this sign up or registration page here. Now guys, I don't think I need to guide you through the registration process step by step. It is actually a matter of a click and once inside take a look around. So this is the earning section inside my account I have created for demonstration purposes. Here I'm given access to the available earning methods. The payment ratio is $1 equals 100 reward points you can collect by completing the aforementioned tasks. How can points you have collected be redeemed? Well, the cash out threshold is $10, which is okay. Not super good, not super bad either, but okay. I have seen GPT apps with both with a lower as well as a higher withdrawal threshold. To become eligible to cash out your earnings guys, they will ask you also to add a payment method here inside your account settings. Currently they feature only two payout methods, bank transfer and PayPal. Well, in my honest opinion, they should have added a few more payout methods such as, I don't know, gift cards to Amazon for example, or Payoneer or Skrill, but it is what it is and at least they support PayPal as a cash out option. Alright, so how many reward points can you earn per completed task? In practice, let's take a look at earning method number one for this, which is playing mobile games. According to this information, the realistic earning potential is between 10 cents and $50, depending on the task's length, difficulty level and complexity. To get started, select an offer wall from the list below, like this one here for example, and next select the game you would like to play in your spare time in exchange for the aforementioned reward points. Some games can be played only on desktop and some on mobile phones, be it Android or iOS. You see the payment rate listed below. Some games may bring you even a few hundred or a thousand redeemable points, like that one here for example with 25,000 points upon completing the required tasks, which may be for instance reaching a specific in-game level, defeating a boss or playing the game for a certain amount of time, like a week or so. 
25,000 reward points may sound like a lot at first glance, guys, I'll give you that. That would be equivalent to $25 based on the exchange ratio here in Paidwork. However, bear in mind that no one is going to credit you these points for doing nothing. In reality, it will be required from you to spend really a lot of time on playing the given game so that advertisers, game developers and game publishers out there and also these guys here on Paidwork make as much profit as possible through advertisement, for example, or possible in-app purchases. Now we got watching videos. Now guys, do not waste your time, I'll be quick with this. I consider that option, that earning method, by far the least lucrative one, because users get credited only between 0.1 and 1 point per watched video, advertisement included. And users are not allowed to click off within the first 30 seconds of watching, if they do this and close the tab, for example, or click off, they don't get credited for their effort. Simple as that. So guys, I don't think I need to do the math here. You would need to watch masses, I mean really masses of these video clips to earn any significant amounts of reward points with this method. So I'll leave it up to you if it is worth your time and sweat or not. What about completing surveys and doing offers? Well, it works pretty much the same way as playing games. You select a survey provider, for example, from the list below, and on the next page, you pick a consumer brand survey or opinion poll or research study you would like to participate in in exchange for a payment to get credited between 10 cents and $5 upon completing according to this information here. Provided you qualify, of course, you qualify for the given survey, because sometimes it may happen that a survey provider kicks you out of a survey due to not matching the survey taker profile they're looking for, right before the last question of the questionnaire. So be prepared for that to happen pretty frequently. I have tested numerous service sites and apps myself and I have learned that in reality you qualify for maybe one out of 10 surveys you approach or start. Offers on the other end may bring you even up to $200. Well, in rare cases, I'd argue, most offers bring you probably a couple of cents, like for example, tasks such as downloading and installing apps on your smartphone and other similarly simple tasks. Although they have introduced these courses here on Paidwork you can take to qualify for higher paying tasks and even work from home jobs such as writing articles, graphic designing or programming apps and websites for clients, I must admit. So Paidwork has turned kinda into a marketplace for freelance jobs and tasks. As it turns out, some of these tasks and freelance jobs or work from home jobs may indeed bring you significantly higher payment rates than simple offers, service or watching videos. Now we got mining crypto. As said at the beginning of this video, the earning potential here is fairly low, namely between 5 and 50 cents per day for each connected device you use for this. On the other end though, mining blockchains, for example through the Paywork app, works pretty much effortlessly and passively. All you need to pull this off is to launch the Paidwork paid app on your device and to let it run in the background once you have clicked on the Start Mining button inside your account. And that's it. And the greatest aspect of this is you're expressively allowed to use as many devices for that as you want at the same time. Also guys, you can request to get paid also in crypto tokens, so-called working tokens, for completing tasks here on Paidwork and convert these into other currencies later if you want. And last but not least guys, a feature referral program here on Paidwork you may join to earn some extra bucks on the side passively with every referral of yours who signs up on Paidwork through your invitation and request their first payout. In that case, both of you would get paid $10 according to this information on the homepage. So a win-win situation for both of you. So to sum it up, what is my final verdict? Well, the paid work app has definitely not only received some of the best ratings and reviews on Google Play and Trustpilot so far, it also features a wide range of earning methods, some with a lower and some with a higher earning potential, with watching videos probably being the least lucrative technique here on paid work and completing micro jobs and work from home jobs for clients on a freelance basis being probably the most promising and the most profitable earning method arguably at the end of the day though it is your call guys so let's stop for today hope you enjoyed the video got some real value from it and i'll see you around